if you're watching this, you are a creative person. You design things, but you haven't designed a game before. Or so you think. You have ideas, you have stories to tell, and what if a game could be the medium to tell those stories, to make your ideas playable, to let people explore different perspectives and different outcomes? And what if making that game didn't have to take you weeks or months, but it could be done in a day? So that's what I want to teach you. How to make your first game to express your ideas in as little as one day. My name is Matteo and I make games. I design board games, cooperative board games, the ones in which all players work together to explore big challenges like tackling the climate crisis. I've been making games at the V&A Museum in London and taught game design at universities around the UK, but I haven't studied game design. I actually studied graphic design. So I'm going to teach you how I learned to make games by taking existing games and then hacking them with my own ideas, my own concerns, my own questions, and turning them into new games. Then I'm gonna teach you how to analyze games and break down their mechanics, dynamics, and aesthetics. In other words, you'll learn to analyze how games work, how people react to them, and how they feel while they play. Then, you're going to take an existing board game and break it apart, deconstruct it, hack it with your own ideas so that you can turn it into a new game. And you'll do that with stuff that you probably already have at home. In this class, you will get step-by-step -step guidance, printable worksheets to guide you through the design process, and fun activities, actually, hacktivities. But I'm not going to teach you how to code or how to use game making apps. What I'm going to do is teach you how to think like a game designer and how to make your ideas playable. So that by the end of this class, you will have a playable prototype that you can play test with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues, and maybe even strangers. The game design skills that you will learn and practice are both fun and purposeful. Because analyzing interactive systems, coming up with ideas, prototyping those ideas, and then play testing them, these are all skills that you can apply to pretty much anything that is designed for humans. So let's make some games. <laughs>